Hello apples and cherries and welcome back to day four about our pirate topic. And remember this week we are writing some descriptions of a pirate. So at the end of the week we will be writing a description of a pirate using the new facts and words that we have learned about this week. In our sentence we will have finger spaces, capital letters, full stops and we will use our phonics to help us write the words. Okay so today we are thinking about a pirate's character trait. So what a pirate is actually like, what he looks like, how he acts. So at the end of this you will be able to use different adjectives to describe a pirate's personality. Now adjectives, what does that mean? That's right, it's different words to describe something. So instead of just saying happy, we can use different words like excited or amazing or enjoyable or joyful. So it's making words that are more interesting than just the one word that we can think about. You will also be able to label a pirate with different adjectives. So you will be able to draw a pirate and then you will write words around it that describe that pirate using your phonics. And you will even be able to discuss why pirates might act the way they do. So pirates are very different to us and we might be able to discuss why are they so different? Why are they so evil and nasty? So today I have a little story for you. So listen up. There was a time when the oceans were the most dangerous places on earth. And it wasn't because of the large sea monsters or anything. It was because pirates had made the oceans into their home. A former sailor in the British Royal Navy was the one who stood out amongst all the other pirates. He had sailed the Caribbean like a man ever since he was a little boy. Edward Teach was his name, but he was better known as Blackbeard. When the Spanish War of Independence ended, he lost his job and he decided to join up with a pirate ship and soon became the captain. Thus began the legend of the most famous pirate of all times. Blackbeard navigated at the helm of his ship, the Queen Anne's Revenge, along the east coast of, the, of America and the Caribbean islands. His mission was to steal from merchant ships. So there were ships that were selling things to different lands and sell their bounties in the city. He did so with great skill. So he stole from merchant ships and he took what he stole and sold it in cities to make lots and lots of money. One summer morning, he spotted a distant merchant ship that contained great bounty. Him and his crew quietly snuck up on it. And when they were close, they raised their pirate flag and started the pursuit. The merchant ship fled towards a shallow cove that Blackbeard knew like the back of his hand. This was his best trick. Blackbeard had snuck up on them and then he had trapped them against a, a bit of land that they wouldn't be able to move. And Blackbeard knew very, very well. Oh dear, I think he's going to be able to get on that ship. Do you think so? He was very clever, wasn't he? All of Blackbeard's pirates attacked the unarmed merchant sailors. And it was a very unfair battle that begun. Why do you think it was unfair? The 
that's right, like they said, all the pirates, they had weapons and things to fight with. But the merchant ship, they were just selling things. So they didn't have weapons and guns to fight against them. So it was an unfair battle because they wouldn't be able to compete with the Blackbeard's crew. Blackbeard, who was as tall and as strong as a basketball player, he had a large, dark, bushy beard, and he soon joined them on the ship to fight. Thanks to his trick that seemed like magic to the sailors, he became the most feared pirate on all the seas. I think a lot of people would have been scared of him. At the end, oh, during the battle, he took some of the fuses that they would use on the cannons and he put them at the end of his beard. So, and he lit them so that when they went out, his face and his fiery eyes were covered in a cloud of smoke. This made him look like a demon from the underworld. So it would have made him look really scary. The merchant's crew were faced with Blackbeard's loaded guns and powerful cutlasses. They decided that they needed to surrender. And once again, Blackbeard and his crew took off with their treasures. Beard sounds like a really nasty pirate and very, very scary. But he also sounds quite clever, doesn't he? To be able to sneak up on them and give them no choice but to give him all of their bounty and all of their money and things to sell. So your challenge today is to draw a picture of Blackbeard or a picture of another pirate that might have been on his crew. So this is an example that you could try and draw from. And once you've drawn that picture, I would like you to label some different adjectives. Remember what are adjectives? That's right, they're describing words. They're different words that we can use to describe something. So I would like you to label your picture with some different describing words or some different adjectives for what he would have been like or what a pirate would have to be like. So here are some questions for you to think about. How does Blackbeard act? Is he kind or is he evil? Right, he's not very kind is he? He's very very evil, evil. He's very very nasty, so you might write nasty. Mm -hmm. nasty. I wonder what are some other questions to help you. How would you feel if you saw Blackbeard's ship approaching? <gasps> would you be excited or would you be scared? You would be scared wouldn't you because you'd be worried that you would have to fight with this really scary pirate. So you could write that he is scary. Uh, what other words can we think of for scary? He's frightening. He's evil. Okay, what other words? And then there's another question to help you. Blackbeard and his crew would have had to live on a boat for a very long time. Without, with no showers. So I've written that wrong here. He would have to live on a boat for a long time with, cover that, with no showers. Do you think he'd be clean or dirty? Yeah, he would be very dirty, wouldn't he? And if you're dirty, you would be very smelly. S-m-e. So there's just some ideas to help you. So remember your challenge is to draw a picture of Blackbeard or another pirate and to write around some adjectives to describe him. 
And there's three words there to help you, but I know you can think of more to put on there. So you could even put on there about how clever he is. K, uh, eh, uh, uh, clever. Okay, good luck and enjoy that. Don't forget to use your Freddy fingers to help you with writing these words.